Hi everyone, just wanted to make a quick video to go over how to do some basic uh, stuff with Word as it relates to business reports. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is enable track changes. We can go to the review tab on Word and we can select track changes right here. What track changes allow us to do is to see who made which change and then we can accept or reject that particular change. We'll come back to this at the end of the video. Uh, once we've enabled track changes, let's go to the insert tab and let's go ahead and put in a couple of page breaks here. We'll do about 10 page breaks. Uh, so the purpose of page breaks is of course to add additional pages to a document. Uh, once we've done that, we'll go back over to the home tab and we'll scroll to about the third page and we'll go to heading one. Now headings are a great way to sort of say what the title of a section of a document will be. So in my case, I'm going to call this chapter one. Uh, in your case, it might be a little bit different uh, what you want to call the heading, but I'm just going to use chapter one. Uh, you'll notice that we see some additional uh, stuff like we have that I edited the formatting and that I also put in this text. Uh, what you could do to get rid of that for now is to the left of the text, there's that little uh, horizontal line. Just go ahead and click on that and everything goes back to normal. So we'll do that for chapter one. We'll come down here to the second page. We'll do another heading for chapter two. And I look at this and I see that the font color is blue. Uh, blue text to me is not very attractive. So we have a couple different ways we could change that. We could of course manually change each of them. Uh, but that's wasting a lot of time. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to right click on the heading one and go to modify. If you're on a Mac, you might have to use command click or control click. Uh, go ahead and change that to black. Okay, so now I hit OK. And now all of the text for heading one is going to be black instead of blue. Uh, so the next thing I want to do is I want to have one page of this document be a different orientation than another. Now we can get to orientation from the layout tab and by default uh, Word is going to have the entire document share an orientation. So if I just wanted this one page to be landscape for example it makes every page landscape. And that's not really what we want. So the way that we can get Word to have just a single page be a different orientation is we can go ahead and include what's called a section break. Okay, so the section breaks are going to be found on the layout tab as well. We have the breaks option right here. Uh, so we have page breaks, but we're going to use the section break, specifically the next page. So the purpose of the section break is to actually segment the document into different sections. And we're going to do a section break before and after the page that we want to have be uh, sort of a different orientation. So now that we've included two section breaks, we've essentially split this from being one whole section, the document, to now we have three sections. Before the section break, after the first section break, after the second section break. So now when we go change this to landscape orientation, you'll see that it only changes this one single page to landscape. So just a brief recap, we use section breaks to allow us to change the uh, not just the orientation, but a lot of other functions of the document as well. So uh, next, let's go up to the first page. Let's put our cursor in the first page and let's go ahead and put a cover page in this document. Okay, so the purpose of the cover page is going to be to have like the title of the document, maybe author information, uh, that sort of stuff. So we're just going to pick any of these options here. We can type in the title as you see fit. And then you can also put in the other information. Um, this is going to vary by what you're doing, of course. You can pick whatever suits you. You can remove fields if you don't think they're applicable. Um, you have a lot of options there. So, uh, let's go to the second page and let's put a table of contents in. Now, table of contents are a very important thing to include in business reports because they allow you to quickly and easily see what is included with inside of the business report. So to do that, we're going to go to the references tab 
And we're just gonna select one of these table of contents here and you'll see that I can click on it and it'll take me to that appropriate section. Now, one of the cool things about doing the table of contents this way is that we can actually automatically update this. Okay, so to do that, let's come down here after chapter two and let's skip another page. Let's insert a chapter three here. So to do that, we're going to use the heading and we're gonna type chapter three and just for fun, let's also come down here, use heading two, and we'll type section one, something like that. So now we come back up to our table of contents. You'll notice it did not update yet. So what we have to do to get it to update is we have to tell it to update. So what we're gonna do is we're going to select the option to update the table. And you always wanna make sure you update the entire table. Um, especially if you're adding new sections, uh, they wouldn't be included if you just updated the page numbers. So we hit OK, and then from there you can see that now you have your additional chapters and sections all included there. Um, so that's a very useful tool that we have. Um, I hope this was a helpful video for you. Um, if you need to rewind it or anything, feel free to do so. Um, but, you know, also feel free to check out the Microsoft Help. Uh, for Microsoft Word, they've got a lot of great tutorials on there. They really describe what each of these components of the application are for, how they're used, it gives examples of them. So that's a great resource as well. Um, anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day.